Now, in order to proceed from here, let me actually write this time discrete ODE um, in all, for, for, for purposes of argument. Let me write it at um, time Tn plus 1, right? So this, of course, is the time discretized ODE at uh, Tn, right? Because everything is at n, okay? Let me now write this at time uh, Tn plus 1. Right? So at Tn plus 1, that becomes in canonical form, it becomes m v at n plus 1 plus k d at n plus 1 equals f at n plus 1. All right. All I've done is, is write out the ODE um, at two different um, time, okay? At, ti at two different time instances, Tn and Tn plus one. All right. So, th so this is in general what we will call the, uh, the 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 time discrete version of the of the ODE, and and when we write it in terms of the velocity, it's often it's, it's a sort of canonical way of writing it. All right. Now, this is where we need to invoke uh, special integration methods, right? Our integration methods are based upon what we call the, uh, it's, an it's, it's a family of integration algorithms okay, um, that are sometimes called the Euler family for first order ODEs, okay? And here is how they are posed. Supposing we are considering the following ODE. Uh, suppose we are looking at uh, y dot, um, equals um, f of y, okay? This is the um, algorithm we are looking at. So what we will say here is that um, the time discretized uh, version of this or, the, or, the, or the, 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 the solution as posed by the Euler family of algorithms is the following. Right, the algorithm then is is the following. It is that y n plus one minus y n over delta t, okay, is equal to f at y n plus alpha. All right. This is the algorithm as defined by the Euler family. I have some explanation to do here, of course, right? So what we have is the following. Uh, this is the algorithm uh, where delta t is simply the, what is called the time step. It's t n plus 1 minus t n, okay? And this is the time step. Alpha is a real number, and alpha belongs to the closed interval 0 to 1. All right. Okay. So, we have this setting, and uh, since we're talking about the Euler family here for the very first time, let me, so to speak, introduce you to the members of the Euler family. So we have the following sort of setting. For alpha equals zero, right? This is called the forward Euler method. Okay? 
alpha equals 1 is called backward Euler. and alpha equals half is called various things. Uh, I will tend to call it the midpoint rule. Okay. Um, it's also sometimes called the Crank-Nicholson method. Okay, so those are special members of the Euler family. Um, of course, as uh, as indicated back here, uh, you can one can design algorithms, one can develop algorithms and use them for any value of alpha between zero and one. Okay, um, so one uh, one final step I want to take in this segment is to note that uh, the way this can be sometimes rewritten is uh, as simply. Right, this, this thing can, is sometimes rewritten as y n plus 1 equals uh, y n plus uh, delta t times f at y n plus alpha. Okay? Now, in order to complete this description, I need to tell you what y n plus alpha is y n plus alpha is constructed simply as a linear interpolation between values at alpha equals 0 and alpha equals 1. Okay? And that tells you that, it, that you construct it as y n plus 1. Right? Um, let me see. Alpha times y n plus 1 plus 1 minus alpha times y n. Okay? All right? So really, when you sit back and look at these uh, Euler family of um, at, at this Euler family of algorithms, what it is doing is to approximate our time derivative, right? So we approximate the time derivative over b b as a linear um, as a linearly varying quantity over every time interval, right? Right? Instead of saying y dot, we're just saying, well, let me just take a linear uh, approximation of it over the sub over the time step, right? Or over the time interval. So this is our approximation for the time derivative, right? And and by saying that we we are requiring it to be equal to f at n plus alpha, this is where the design of our algorithm also comes in uh, over the various uh, possibilities in the in the Euler uh, family, because if we are trying to go from uh, T n to T n plus 1, right? We are saying that the rate in uh, the average rate across T n, T, uh, between T n and T n plus 1 uh, depends upon f and we could, we are free to evaluate f or we are leaving ourselves the flexibility to evaluate f at any value inside here, right? So at, at any point inside here. So that point is, a gen is generically n plus alpha, right? T at n plus alpha. Okay? By choosing different values at alpha, including alpha equals 0 or alpha equals 1 or alpha equals half or, or really anything else, we get particular properties for our method, right? So, so this is where the approximation of the time derivative comes in. We have this side of it, which is, which is the linearized, the linear approximation, and this, uh, and here we're approximating the ODE by evaluating the right-hand side at some T n plus alpha, okay? So this is the basis of the Euler method, uh, and we are going to apply it to our uh, time-discretized ODE when we return in the next segment.